This is question 11. Here I'm told that 25 students in class A did a science exam. I'm then told that 30 students in class B did the same science exam. I'm told that the mean mark for the 25 students in class A is 67.8. And I'm told that the mean mark for all the 55 students is 72. I'm asked to work out the mean mark for the students in class B. So in order to work out the mean mark for the students in class B, what I would need to do is I would need to total the number of marks that all the students got in class B, so add all of their scores together, and then divide it by the total number of students in class B. So for class B, if I think about this, I need to work out the total marks And then I'm going to have to divide that by 30, the total number of students in class B, and that will give me my mean. Now, the problem is, is that I don't know what the number of the total number of marks in class B was. But what I can do is I can work that out because I know the mean of for all the students, all 55 students was 72 then what I could work out is the total number of marks scored by all 55. So for the total, uh, so this is for all the students. So for all the students, I can say that this is the total number of marks that they scored was divided by 55 and that, that equaled 72. So that means that the total number of marks scored by all 55 students would have been 72 multiplied by 55. And so that gives me the total number of marks scored. And let's just work that out. That's going to be 72 multiplied by 55, which gives me 3,960. So that's the total number of marks scored by all of the students. But I want just B. Now, if I know the mean mark for A, for the students in class A, then if I work out the total number of marks scored using exactly the same method for the students in class A, then I can just take the total number of marks scored by the students in class A away from the total number scored and that will tell me the total marks scored in class B. So let's do that. So the total for A was divided by 25 because there were 25 students in class A. And when it was divided by 25, it gave an answer of 67.8. So total divided by 25 is equal to 67.8. Let's work that out. And again, just using the same method, that now our total is simply going to be 67.8 multiplied by 25. And so our total number of marks that were scored by all of the students in class A is going to be 67.8 multiplied by 25 which gives 1,695. So now if I know that altogether, the students' scores added up to 3,960, and uh, the students in class A, that their scores added up to 1,695, that means that I can work out what the students in class B, what their scores added up to. So I can take 3,960 and I can subtract 1,695. So that then tells me that that must mean the marks scored by the students in class B was 2,265. So now the total marks is 2,265 and I'm going to divide that by the number of students in class B, which is 30. And this is going to give me my mean for class B. 
So 2,265 divided by 30, and that's going to give me an answer of 75.5. So the mean mark for the students in class B was 75.5.